In this video, we'll be looking at how to draw an inferior trochoid. All right. So here, we are to draw a locus of a point 5 millimeters inside the peripheral of a circle which rolls on straight line path. Take circle diameter as 50 millimeters. Now, how did we arrive at the point that we're drawing an inferior trochoid? Now, it has been said here that the point is 5 millimeters inside the peripheral of the circle. All right, it's inside the ruling circle, not on the ruling circle. So we know that we are drawing an inferior trochoid. All right. So let's draw our straight line path. Now the circle has a diameter of 50 millimeters. Therefore, it will have a radius of 25 millimeters. Now let's divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Now, we are told that the point is 5 millimeters inside the peripheral, all right? So, if the radius is 25 millimeters and the point is 5 millimeters inside, it means that the radius to draw that circle will be, the radius to draw that circle will be 25 minus 5, all right, which is 20 millimeters. So, let's measure 20 millimeters. So let this be P. All right. One, two. None. What will be the length of this circle? All right. The length is given as 2 pi r, which is the same as pi d. Now this will give us 157 millimeters, which is the same as 15.7 centimeters.
Now, just as we divided the circle into 12 parts, we will divide this line into 12 parts. So let's take a radius of one centimeter. And step it on this line. Now join the 12th point to M. Now let's draw our parallel lines. Now let's draw horizontal lines. So let's draw one through P. Another one, another one from 11 through one. Similarly, from 10 through 2. Now let's project lines to meet this line. All right.
Now let's take the distance from the center to point P. Turn at C1 and mark this distance on the line passing through 1. With the same distance, mark the line through point 2. Stand at 3. Mark on the line through point 3. You stand at C4. Mark a point. Mark the line through point 4. And so on. Now draw a smooth curve through this point. And there you go, that's how to draw an inferior trochoid. Thanks for watching.